If you've seen the news, you've seen drones, on battlefields, in protests, even delivering packages. But what you don't hear? One company dominates them all, DJI. They don't just own the market. They built an empire no one can compete with. And the US? They tried to stop them. But here's the problem. There's no replacement. Most billionaires love the spotlight. Frank Wang? He stays in the shadows, quietly controlling an industry. Wang built DJI from his dorm room into an untouchable monopoly. He didn't just make drones, he made a supply chain fortress no one can break. DJI doesn't just compete in the drone market, they are the drone market. 80% of consumer drones, 90% of prosumer drones, and even the ones used by government agencies, all DJI. The US banned DJI from military contracts, but even police departments and Hollywood still use them. Most companies outsource production. Wang did the opposite. He locked down the entire supply chain, making it impossible to compete. Every critical part, from motors to batteries to cameras, either comes from DJI's own factories or exclusive Chinese suppliers. The US tried to build alternatives, but without the supply chain, they're dead on arrival. Bans, restrictions, national security threats, the US has tried everything to stop DJI. But here's the issue. There's no replacement. Even the military still relies on them. The government warns about security risks, but if DJI disappeared tomorrow, entire industries would collapse. DJI isn't just the past and present of drones, they're the future. As AI advances, DJI drones will get smarter, faster, and harder to stop. And if the US can't stop them now, will they ever? Want more deep dives on power, business, and AI? Subscribe for more.